Are you from Houston, Kelly? I am, born and raised. Nice. And this is your husband? husband? How many years? 24. 24, wow. Well, enjoy it. It can end tomorrow, I know. So, yeah. So, have fun tonight. But tomorrow's a new day. <laughs> Life comes at you fast, I know, Kelly. Oh, wow, you got married in 2000. Wow. That was a good year to get married, I guess. Like a Big wedding? Small. Small. Have a reception, though? Vegas. Vegas? Oh, like that. So, no reception. Did you guys meet? Like, it was quick? Like, how long were you dating before you got married? Sorry, I'm asking so many questions. 16 years. You dated 16 years? I think your name should be Patience. <laughs> the fuck that 16 years? I thought you was mad as hell the last 10 years. Every Christmas stacks. <laughs> Fucking Grace's gift card, just what I wanted. 16? <laughs> Holy fuck! What, what, what took so long, bro? You had to make sure she was right? <laughs> I think somebody had to take a couple trips to the DR. <laughs> okay, I got it out of my system. I'm ready now. <laughs> oh, he was in the military? Yeah. Yeah. That was a good call, waiting. Wait till you got out. I was in the military. That, it's not conducive for relationships. You can't, listen, you can't have a mother, this is the honest God truth, I don't like how, I was in the Navy, I don't know how, I don't know how the other branches work, but we would leave, we could leave for like a year and not come back. Man, that ain't conducive. If the Navy or any of the military really cared about keeping families together, they would fly the soldiers and the sailors home once a month to go fuck their wife and then go back. That's it. Okay, we're gonna drop you off, fucker, come right back. Thank you. Better keep a family together. <laughs> Navy? Yep. Where were you stationed? I could. Coronado. I was in Coronado. The fuck? <laughs> That's her? <laughs> Like North Island or NAB? Are you lying right now? <laughs> There's two bases on Coronado. 60, man, so you're sure. a lot younger than me. Not, well, I'm white. So, <laughs> well, I'm white, so <laughs> we don't age that great, so. What, uh, uh. My ship was uh, the USS Breed for a while. Oh, your ship was stationed in North Island. You just pulled in. Special. Okay, so. <laughs> What? Navy SEAL. Oh, you was a SEAL? That's why I took the bus right Oh, yeah, because we were security with the SEAL. Yeah, because I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that. I only saw two black SEALs. You must have been to one of them. So, there were literally two motherfucking black SEALs on Coronado. We thought, oh, they're the one, they're the one. There was three Asians. <laughs> the bud, them motherfuckers wild though. I couldn't do it, motherfucker. Oh, cause some of you, you around Navy SEALs and you see the shit they gotta go through at Bud, like Hell Week was enough. Cause we had, when Hell Week came, being security on, on uh, uh, Coronado, you know, Sunday night, when you motherfuckers wake up and what they do is Sunday night, these motherfuckers like land in like a gym, right? Well, hey, you just gonna interrupt the motherfucking story? <laughs> we had a deep conversation about America right now. This is American hero I'm trying to talk to. A very indecisive American hero. 
<laughs> I pray a little story. Yeah, we got, we got to take care of that motherfucking bill, Kelly. I'm going to talk about this show right now. You got to take care of that goddamn bill. She's good. She has an air conditioning business. She's good. No, for real, like, we had, we, 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 being security on the base, because I, I was a cop in the military, a terrible cop, I let everybody go. <laughs> everybody got to let go, motherfucker, everybody. But we, when Hell Week starts, when Hell Week is, he, he, he could probably be swimming more better than I can, but what I saw was they would wake up Sunday night and they don't go to bed until Friday afternoon, basically. They up all week and they got these rafts. They all the basements doing this. There's like eight motherfuckers on these breakfasts. Everywhere they go. So we would set the perimeter up on the on the um, the base so nobody could come in and take pictures and videos and shit. And you just see these motherfuckers all week. And I would go home and then come back. These motherfuckers are still running with these rafts over their head. But that's all fucking mind game. All it is. Yep, because I, I was they got you know we got the steel pier right there on the base. So you'd see, the, you guys, at one night, the motherfucker had the fire hose, right? He was spraying you motherfuckers with cold water and shit. And he literally, I saw this motherfucker go, all right, I need you guys to swim out like three miles, come back in, run two miles about the base, we're gonna do 86 push-ups, 7,000 sit-ups, and then we're gonna take the rafts out for another two hours, and then we'll come back. And they, got, they always got a bell with them, right? And they had the bell there, he goes, or, there was an ambulance, they always had an ambulance there by, or, that ambulance opened up, motherfucker had a hot chocolate thing and pizza. He goes, oh, you got some pizza and hot chocolate. You can get this right now and you're done with this. His two guys was like, ding, ding. <laughs> Sat back with that hot chocolate and then the motherfucking dude went, I changed my mind, rest for 20 minutes. They was like, oh, what the fuck? They ain't got this shit. <laughs> fucking mind fucked the bro. But that's why it took him 16 years. Why? Because he's thorough. Thorough. Okay, I'll tell you another great Navy SEAL story. This is, this, you'll appreciate this, Kelly. <laughs> there was, in San Diego, there was a bar called the Elephant Bar, and on Tuesday night, it had like $2 beers, so all the, all the enlisted guys would go. Met this chick, went back to her house. We was about to get down, and I looked next to her motherfucking bed, and there was a picture of her. This <laughs> motherfucking dude had to... <laughs> The shit on and said he's a Navy SEAL. I said, who's that? She said, that's my boyfriend. He's, he's out of town. I said, that motherfucker's a Navy SEAL? She said, yeah, I go, I'm out. Cause that motherfucker probably got that house wired with infrared lighting and shit. I ain't about to be in the middle of blowing his fucking woman's back out when he shows up on a zip line. <laughs> 